Greetings and welcome to Tropico 6. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, before I get too gushy and excited, I want to thank Calypso Media. Thank you so very much for giving me a key to this game. I'm so, 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 so excited. I've been playing the Tropico series since the very first Tropico, and it was a groundbreaking game at the time, and I still remember my favorite trees. They were the, um, the peach-colored bougainvilleas, and I remember making very bad mistakes trying to put tenements on the sides of very steep mountains which took years and years and years of digging and i've played the series through every single um iteration since then and i'm so thrilled that six is out we are in the closed beta right now and uh, as you can see from uh, this description they are doing some testing and we can report anything we want on the forums also um, check out the link below to get access to the closed beta if you want to anyway i have decided since i'm an experienced tropical player i would like to see how tropical 6 kind of leads us into the game so i have not played anything i haven't even gone into a new game before at all like nothing uh the only thing i did is i adjusted the sound level so that i could record so we're going to be going into this completely blind and oh my god i'm so excited to see el presidente so let's give a new game a go oh <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. Look at the art. I love this style. It's like the old style, like postcards and um, and posters. Oh, oh dear. You will never be able to withstand a full on invasion by super power. That is not a surprise to us, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. I love this art, though. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Oh, press any key to continue. Right. Welcome, Presidente! Before you present yourself to the proud citizens of the Tropican Nation, please check your outfit. The first impression is the most important, after all. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Gender, let's... We could be female, perhaps. Outfit, Hawaiian tourist, really? Mafia, modern business, soldier. Pirate, hey, we could be a pirate. Pharaoh, academic dress. I'm surprised that these are not... Uh, I wonder if these are going to be unlockable. Oh, they are locked. Look at this. They are actually locked. So I think we're going to go default. Um, let's see. Hat. Um, Hawaiian tourist. <laughs> that looks lovely, though. I like this hat. But well, I think we're just going to go with the hat for now. And I assume these are going to be sort of tuned in to what we can always achieve with Tropico. Education or capitalism or communism. That sort of thing. See cigar variation number two. Glasses. Whoa. Do we have to have glasses? No. Let's not go with glasses. Hair? Whoa. Alright. Bob. I thought the hair stain was Bob. Oh dear. <laughs> My brain is a little bit overexcited at the moment. Long and wavy. Ponytail. And then we have locked ones here as well. Hockey hair. I'm not sure what hockey hair is. Maybe it's just not added to the game yet. That could be too. The default looks pretty good. Um, long and straight is also pretty good. Can we turn her around? No, apparently not. Um, kind of like the long and wavy. I actually like the default. Let's go with the default. All right. Um, ethnic type Hispanic. That sounds great. Makeup. Makeup none. Lipstick color. Ma Whoa, feline. Hello. Does this actually change anything? Doesn't appear to change anything. Okay. That must be coming soon. Anyway, outfit colors. We could either have... Oh, look at this! You can totally change the color of your outfit. Well then. We have a pink one! Oh my god! <laughs> silver. Well then. Hmm. The silver looks good. The black looks very sharp. Let's choose black. Secondary color. Does this change anything? This does not appear to change anything yet. Okay, cool. All right, I think we're done. El Presidente is done. So, what do we got here? This is... I'm not sure what that is. King of Normal. You have mastered the art of not standing out in a crowd and have made being average into a fine art. If there's a more seemingly ordinary person in the world, nobody has noticed them. Okay, so these are our traits, looks like it. Um... Oh, wow. Palace? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm guessing we're choosing things 
here for uh, abilities that we'll have later. Right. I'm gonna, not going to read all of this. Increases standing with each faction by one. Relations with each superpower by one. That's uh, charismatic. Apologetic. Standing penalty for rejecting demands is decreased by 90%. That's pretty good. Sounds very good. Participants in protests that have been ended by force are less likely to turn to rebel. Okay. Corrupt. All payments to your Swiss bank account are increased by 5%. The palace decreases the crime safety nearby by minus 50. Wow. Um, now that I don't quite understand. Do they mean decreases by 50 or adds minus 50? Or do they mean adds 50? Because it's a double negative here. This, I am I really should report that because that... So basically, is the palace more harsh on crime safety or are they allowing more criminals to get away? That's uh, confusing to me. All right, manipulative. What do we got here? Standing gain for praising a faction is increased by 25%. That is pretty good. Hello, Aramint, by the way. Uh, the relations loss for asking a superpower for financial aid is decreased by 10%. Praising a superpower increases relations by an additional 25%. That sounds amazing. Pyromaniac, there's a 10% chance for buildings to catch fire after being visited by El Presidente. Holy fuzzy cats. <laughs> really? The efficiency of all fire stations is increased by 0.2. Well, the better be. Oh my god. Okay. Spatial Sense Prodigy increases stockpiles of all buildings, the loading capacity of all teamsters and ships, <gasps> and the passenger, maximum passenger limit of all planes and tourist ships by 2%. Wow. I wish it was more than two, but that seems really good. Um, well, pretty good. All right, Workaholic increases the efficiency of all buildings by 0 0.01, decreases job happiness of all buildings by 5 El Presidente does usually not leave the palace. Uh, usually when El Presidente visits a building, um, he or she bestows their beneficence there and sort of blesses the place with extra productivity. So that's not that great. I'm not sure. This, this seems like a very low amount to me. And then the, the job happiness being decreased is... Um, kind of sad. I'm thinking we'll either go with spatial sense or manipulative. I think manipulative sounds really OP at the moment, so we'll go with that. Let's go with the palace layout. Okay, we have a cobblestone path. Oh, irregular cobblestones. Oh, here we can choose stuff. Grass, planks. Okay, this is quite nice. Oh, red carpet. Hello. Yellow brick road. <laughs> I'm going to go with the yellow brick road. Why not? Boundary, brick wall. We can have, oh, military, heavy military, plastered walls. I've always liked the plastered walls. Victorian is quite nice. Brick walls is good too. Hedges. Hedges are nice. I think we're going to go, I like, I think we'll go with plastered walls. They're very Roman looking. Um, layout. We can have, oh, hello. That's very pretty. Ooh. Right. There's a split. Oh, this is quite pretty. I'm going to go with the split. Why not? Rooftop extension. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. There's all kinds of stuff. Rooftop garden. Yes, we'll have this for now. Gardens. Let's see. We'll have we can have a pool, flamingo thing imaging, hedge maze, koi pond, bunker, or stone garden. This does look quite crowded, this split palace design. Um, I kind of like the flamingo pond a lot. Or the pool is quite nice, too. Deco small. We can have tropican banners. Flagpole. Oh, these spiral topiary. Air dancers, really? <laughs> God. Oh, locked. Okay, so here we can find out how to unlock these things. Reach a Swiss bank account credit of 50,000 Swiss... Uh, dollars, perhaps, without ever accepting a single broker request. I have to figure out what those are. El Presidente Statue Golden. I have 20 inspiring statues at the same time. So this is not in here yet. So I think we're going to choose... I like this tall, spherical, hedgy things. Layout. We can change this around. 
and just see how it looks. Well, that's kind of cool too. Irregular. Center is actually not too bad for this. Front yard. Backyard. Hmm. I'm actually kind of liking the irregular one for this. Though I do like the view of that one. But the split is very cool too. Ah, oh, so hard to decide. Um, we'll have this. Let's try this. Okay, anything else? Oh, deco. Oh, we have even more. Hello. Wow. Layers of colors. Holy fuzzy hats. Check this out. Terracotta. Cream. I think we'll go with cream. And then layer two. Wow, we'll have like kind of a golden thing going on here. Layer three. That's going to be the pathways. I rather like these red things. Pink. Pastel orange, blue, green, red. Wow. Let's go back and see what the window style... Oh, window styles. Nice. Well then. The default is those. Choose these. They look kind of fuzzy though. Oh no, there they go. They've They've materialized for us. Those are quite nice, too. I like round win rounded windows, though. I'll choose these. Wow. Oh my god, all the things, all the stuffs. Tempted to go terracotta with this. And, like, maybe go... Should I go with white? This? You can really customize your palace this way. I like this a lot. And maybe this one should be red or crimson. Makes it so easy to just like look at stuff and get things organized. Red. So these are like the window um, surrounds here. Huh. I still like this kind of golden look. <laughs> I'm just really tempted with that. The red is also quite striking. We could do this. If we do this layer, though. There we go. Oh, pink. Pink is a little too much for me. Pastel red, green, blue. I kind of like the cream look. Beige or cream? Hmm. All right, we're gonna go with orange because we just need orange. Oh wow! So this is the brick style that we're looking at: plaster and then stucco. So this also changes the texture of things, which is kind of cool. I like the sandstone; it looks really good. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. Deco medium hedge with blossoms. Should we add any of these thingies? I don't see it appearing anywhere. None. Okay, deco large. Oh, here we go. Maybe we just don't have enough space for it. <laughs> El Presidente statue. That could be very good. Cherry tree. That is very pretty. Weirwood tree. Meteorite. How nice. And another... Uh, oh, a fountain gothic. Well then. Hmm, let's go with the cherry tree. And maybe I'm just not seeing this pond with a fountain. We have so many ponds and things going on. Let's go hedge with blossoms. I have no idea where that is. Uh, we could probably check out this thing. See if we can find it anywhere. Well, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Oh, well, there's the hedge with the blossoms. It's like one single hedge. <laughs> I'm amused by this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, let's go with the the one that we liked, the irregular one. Yeah, so there's a hedge with blossoms somewhere here-ish. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's go out. Yes, exit customization mode. I've spent far too much time on this. I'll probably put a link to <laughs> skip that bit. But that was fun, actually, figuring those things. All right, let's go with the... Um, should we do a tutorial, perhaps? All right, chapter one, basics and economy. Or should we just start with a mission? Hmm. I think we're just going to start with a mission and skip the tutorial altogether. Uh, right. 
Penultimo of the Caribbean, the very first joint adventure of El Presidente and his loyal aide, Penultimo. The story tells of how they met, a murder conspiracy, and Penultimo's masterful plan to fund their way to independence by smuggling gold nuts. <laughs> Colonial area looks like it. Mission focus, smuggling, logistics, proclaiming independence. All right, we'll go with normal difficulty. I have no idea how hard these things are. Ooh. In 1980, Saddam Hussein got key to the city of Detroit. I hope they locked him out after that. Good Lord. Um, anyway, this is a very... I love this art style. It's so cool. Okay, yes, we know about the invasions of the superpowers. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Did you know North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un was elected with 100% of the vote? The ballot listed only him. So, oh no, it changed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's go and click. Most beloved Presidente, do you remember tropical? Emerald palm trees, platinum beaches and crystalline seas from which the sun reflects like the twinkling of jewels and golden coins. It is I, Presidente, Penultimo, your faithful aide, your biggest fan. I chronicled your triumphs. Fear not, for nothing was written down. Penultimo never forgets, unless he is told to, of course. Let us enjoy these stories of the past. And what better place to start than the time you first met your loyal penultimo, oh most successful Presidente. It was like the first sunrise of my life. Aww. The first sunrise well, of my life. You must be the new governor. I'm Lord Wyndham, voice of the crown, and it's your job to do as I say. Until your mandate runs out, at least. Oh, don't sulk. I'm sure you'll last a long time. Lord knows I don't want to do this by myself. Let's start with a sugar plantation. Yes, oh, pardon the um, mistaken accent there. Good lord. Let's see. What do we got here? We have all kinds of stuff. Where is the island? Here it is. Well then. Okay, let's figure out how to move. All right, middle mouse button to move around. Let's pause the game. That's not pause. Right. Um, we'll have to figure out how to do easy pause. Um, let's see. Is it in the control menu? Perhaps. Options. Oh, I hear a train in the distance. Oh dear. <laughs> that sounds very exciting. Okay. What do we got here? Edge scrolling off. Additional confirmation pop-ups. Da -da 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 -da. Graphics. Nice, nice, nice. Do I need VSync? I don't remember. It seems to be running fine, though. Um, okay, cool. Let's just go then. All right, no control scheme as of yet. So let's get out of here. I'm going to have to learn the... Con oh my god, the trains are real. I hear them. Oh, so here's our beautiful palace. Oh, we have stuff. We've got trees and things and all the stuffs. All right, we need to... I would like to pause here. We've got bunk houses. Let's just acquaint ourselves with things here. This is our palace. Uh, looks like we're doing a middling budget. Five workers. Education required uneducated. Now, that's very interesting because in previous uh, games, they had to have a high school diploma to be a guard at the palace, usually. Uh, wages, $15. Efficiency, 100%. Okay. Focus build, relocate the building. That's quite cool. All right, we can customize things, statistics. Um, all right, more guards. Wait, is this paused? Oh, this is paused, right. Uh -huh. Oh, we can add four more job positions. That's very cool. All right. Engages enemy squads during military conflicts and has a chance to discover hidden roles of passers-by. Decreases liberty nearby, imagine that. Palace is the symbol of El Presidente's power. If it gets destroyed, you lose the game. Yes, as always. Um, right, what do we got here? Plantation for corn. This is going to be our main food source until we build more. Uh, usually we like to have a diverse food uh, source. For wow, the graphics here are just so tasty nice. Right, construction office. Yep, we need those. They're paid a middle wage here. 
uh, uneducated as uh, yeah, as in previous ones. More hands adds two job positions. Okay, and here we have a country house. Work most better than shack, really. <laughs> Okay, this is a residence. Housing quality is 40. These are well-off people. Uh, they have monthly income of 14. Is that the monthly income required? Probably not. Probably is that people can afford to live here. All right, and then of course these are shacks where people who don't have houses live uh, and it's free for them. We have a country house here, another country house. Bunk houses, okay. We can house six people. Country houses is two. Okay. Right. Oh no, this the monthly income is I wonder if that's for all the combined people who live there. Alright, we have a cattle ranch. Well then, that's nice. Uh looks like humane exploit. What is this? Okay, pasture prohibition. Pa ranch does not decrease the fertility in its vic vicinity. Decreases the efficiency by 15%. Okay, so that's something we can think about later if we notice some pollution happening or things getting bad. There's a waterfall here. Hello. Oh, wow, look how pretty this is. Holy fuzzy cats. I like this. Wow. Oh my god. You could just like walk through here. I can just imagine get my feet wet splashing about in this little brook here. Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I'm just like filled with joy at this game. Oh, there's another waterfall. Let's look at this. <gasps> look at this very serene area. We're going to exploit this later, I'm quite sure. Um, but for now, it's nice. This, oh, it's like a carving. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> that's neat. Wow. Oh, man. Okay, so... So we have three different islands. Nice. Okay, so now we've explored some stuff. This is going to be the docks and a ship. Can I click on the ship? No? Okay. Fine. Um, all right. So we have nothing in storage here. Next arrival, five months and ten days. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Bunkhouse here. Tavern. Yes, that'll provide entertainment for our citizens. Very important thing to keep them um, entertained. Liquid melancholy. Really? All you can drink. Decreases job quality by ten. Imagine that. Efficiency increased by 25%. So people are going to be unhappy working here, but they'll work better. Uh, what else we got here? Teamster's office. These are people who transport goods around. I remember when these buildings were quite small. They actually they were the same size as construction office, but they both seem to have grown to 2x3 two instead of 2x2. Uh, two two. Uh, right. Safe loads. Um, loose load limit. Okay. Each teamster might lose up to 5% of the freight. Wow. That actually might be good, though. Increases capacity by 50%. That's huge. Wow. Um, I'm thinking that we might have... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're, we're going to try options here. Firstly, we need to build a sugar plantation. So let's figure out how to do this. We have our construction thing right here. Also, I think we can right-click. Yep. Ooh. These are blueprints we have to buy, perhaps? Building can be built in World Wars. Okay, first of all, let's build a co coconut harvester. Oh, that's new. Plantation, maybe. That's probably what we need here. Now, that's interesting. They used to start off with farms and then have plantations afterward. Oh, the overlays. We remember the overlays. The meow is real. Okay, so use the mouse wheel to rotate the building. Uh, oh, I think I probably should build a road to make things nice and straight and lovely. Can I just press R for road, please? Oh, I can. Okay, oops, it's... Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait. Click and drag. Okay, uh, not drag. Click and then you can unclick. I'll add this road as well. Oh, no. Go away. Shoo, shoo. I accidentally clicked on the thingy majingy seems to have similar road styles as uh, the previous version which is nice all right let's build ourselves a plantation and we need sugar put it here there we are that's looking good is there anything that's telling us uh stuffs nope okay it's 
fine. Oh, here's freighter information. I wonder if we can make that text a little bit bigger. It's because it's a bit small. Okay, here we go. Hit, hit shift to build the same building multiple times. I think I'm going to do that. Press shift there. And then we'll have... This is interesting that this is shifting stuff around. Because see how far that one goes back. This one is actually smooshing it inward. I'm amused by this. I'm very amused by this, in fact. That's pretty darn cool. That's really interesting. Okay, so we'll get the... Oh, oh okay. So pause is not this. <laughs> pause is not spacebar. I have to figure out the hotkey for pause. Um, okay, so we're going to build stuff. Presumably... Oh, there come our people. Oh, let's look. They're, oh my god, they're running so fast. <laughs> cool. There they go. Let's prioritize this one. Go for high priority there. They're gonna work it. Oh wow, I like the cranes and stuff. This is very cool. Okay, so they delivered stuff. Are these the teamsters or are these? Um, no, they're constructors. Okay. Oh oh oh, there it goes. There it goes. Look. Oh, all oh, the scaffoldings. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, oh, and cranes and things and stuff. Oh, this is so nice. Oh dear, I'm getting overexcited. <laughs> Just slightly. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, taking it down. Oh, and we have a beautiful farmhouse or plantation house with verandas and all. Oh, nice. All right. So we are going to make, okay, monoculture work mode. Let's see what the um, alternative to this is. Uh, multiculture decreases efficiency by 60%, but the plantation does not decrease the fertility over time. Plantation gets 20% efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with a different crop running on the same work mode. So, if we put a plantation here, then these are both going to get... Hello? <laughs> we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. <laughs> oh, yes. We will resist, Governor. No taxation without no representation. No bribery without clarity. And no corruption without discussion. We demand agency in our own injustice. Right. We need to do stuff. We need to produce corn. Uh, and we can choose these different items. Get a random blueprint, $2,000 or 10 revolution <laughs> revolutionary immigrants. Great. Um, right, and then we'll have uh, revolutionaries coming up. Let's accept I them. have new instructions. It, right. I mean suggestions. Mm -hmm. The plantation's growing nicely, I take it? Mm? Filthy thing, nature. But there's money in it. Yes, yes, the nature is so messy. Oh dear, what should we do? Now, to get things done, we'll need manpower. Getting the cooperation of the locals in this sweat-encrusted hellhole means bribing them with something they want. Rum works well, so build a lovely new distillery. Oh, and export some too, would you? Get some cash coming in. Right. Okay, what I think I'm going to do, though, I want to build two more plantations so that we get some bonus for these because fertility in the long term is very iffy uh it is very very good for us to change that to make it better so i think we're gonna do this put this here one here oh no 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 hold on hold on hold on i want to uh can i change cancel construction Let's just cancel construction. Yes, I forgot to choose something. Bananas, maybe? Pineapples, cocoa, there's sugar. Cocoa, tobacco, coffee, cotton, and rubber. Oh my god. I think we'll just have to do corn here. And maybe something else to kind of offset this. Bananas, maybe? Pineapples. We could do pineapples. It has to be different from these two things. That's the most important part. We could do coffee. Pineapples are good because they're food. And the reason food is important is because it's not a cash crop. Um, and with the cash crops, I think you can only sell them. Like, I don't think you can eat sugar as a food, at least as it used to be. All right, so we're going to use this thingy to go this way. Okay, good. 
Uh, and then these guys, we're going to put into the other work mode. We're going to use multiculture. Okay, and hopefully we can see the efficiency over... Okay, let's just... I, I like space for pause. Is it one, two, three, maybe? Or tilde? I really would like to know what the hotkey for pause is. P? It's nice to have choices, mm. isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like your situation to remain as it is, so please don't forget which side your bread is buttered and who gave you the butter. Right, so we fulfill export trade route with the crown and accept time. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I have no idea how to do this, though I'm guessing this might be part of the tutorial which we sort of skipped uh or we can look here edicts overlays almanac research raids trade there we go all right we can send ah okay raw resources these are offers uh and looks like we can export these various things this looks very nice um i do not know how much stuff we'll be able to send Accept a trade contract to start trading. All right, we have meat. Gold, we don't have gold. We have meat or rubber, tobacco, coffee, logs, and sugar. Let's accept sugar. Trade route is already active. What? Okay. Did we just activate that? Okay, it's right here. So here we have to buy a new trade license for another item. I'm going to hold off on that until we get a distillery made because I don't know how much those cost. And that's one of our things that we have to do. So let's go ahead and build a distillery. Ooh, here we go. Oh, mansion. Right. Okay. Rum distillery. $9,600 requires four workers with a, looks like a high school education. So that may be kind of important. I'm going to rotate this building, put it here. Um, on the way from sugar to the docks. That's pretty important to have like a nice route for, for you to get one to another. Whoopsies. Uh, okay, so we're gonna press the hotkey for play, which we have no idea what it is. <laughs> we'll find it out. We'll figure it out one day. All right, and then we're producing corn as well. This is going to be corn. Let's go ahead and high prioritize this guy. Uh, looks like we can also do another trade route. So I want to go ahead and buy a trade license to get another one. And let's see, coffee log, sugar. We could do sugar. Let's get sugar going. Oh, we already did it, apparently. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, rubber, tobacco, coffee logs. Well, I apparently forgot to order something else. So we might get a lumber camp to get some logs going. Seems like an okay thing. What are these? They're just small boats, okay. But we can get some fishing going too. Okay. Um, see if we can do that. Industry it should be food and resources. Fisherman's Wharf. Yes. Uh, it's always a good idea to have additional food sources. So. Oh, there's a fishing thingy, jingy. Okay, cool. Let's add this here. I don't know how much bridges are gonna cost, but we'll try to just make this happen right there. Oh, right. Cannot build bridges across the sea. This is not the sea. So let's see. Oh, that's very charming. Look at that. I like it. Okay, so this is going to be quite far away. I'm really hoping to get... Oh, okay. I don't like that spacebar zoom out thing. That's annoying. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, how nice. So this is going to be probably low priority right now. I'm not going to worry about that, but I would like to get some logging done, I think. So what is this? Are these just, they're just random logs. Okay. I think we can, is, do we have a logger yet? Teamsters office construction. I think we can make a logger over here then. Logging camp. All right. So we'll go here. They'll be happily situated there. And maybe a coconut harvester. I've never even considered this, but it is a thing. Absolutely a thing. Except our islands are completely devoid of interest in coconuts, apparently. Um, 
Ah, this, this island has some coconuts going on. So when we are able to get to this island, we will build coconut thingy farms. Right, okay, so we're building, we're producing. We are gonna make a rum distillery soon. High priority, please, thank you. Okay, let's move game speed higher, please. Come on, guys, finish this. There we go, it's a building. Excellent. And this is our pineapple farm. Okay. Nicey, nicey, nicey. Okay, cool. So here's corn. We're gonna get these totals up a little bit faster. And then the crown trade route is what? Fulfill export trade route with the crown. So we haven't actually fulfilled it yet. Okay. We still need to do this, apparently. Meat, sugar, cocoa. Oh, this is another, another sugar one. Okay, hides, that's a new one. Unless that's just leather. I am, I don't think of hides as like from hunted animals, but I don't think we have a hunting thing, do we? No, no, it's probably just from uh, cattle. Entertainment, oh, we could build a circus. Aw, visitors must be at least poor. Okay, luxury entertainments, media and education, tourism, public services. Oh yes, we're gonna need chapels, uh, grocery stores. That would be good. Raids and military. Okay, we have stuff, decorations. Oh, I love decorations. World wonders. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well then, we can just transport these things from across the world apparently. St. Basil's Cathedral. Well then, that's very reminiscent of the postcard we saw. Oh, Statue of Liberty, why not? Taj Mahal. Yes, let's shovel it all over here. Why not? Uh, I'm highly amused by this. Dungeon. A dungeon? Oi. Okay, that's like a prison, right? I think we'll build a chapel because I don't believe... Oh, we do have one. Is this our chapel? Okay, we already have one. This is good. Uh, it's very hard when people are not getting their needs fulfilled and they have a religious need for sure research okay oh okay we have advanced boat services okay increases upkeep by 50 percent but ships are faster penal colony increases immigration by 50 percent each <laughs> chance of immigrant being a criminal is increased by 300 percent right and you get a monthly payment child allowances Hmm. Church fee. Visitors to religious buildings pay a fee of one dollar. Mm -hmm. Employee of the month. Okay. Double shifts. Okay. Circus. Library. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if we have to do... So these are colonial era things that we could do at the moment. I wonder if we if we can click one of these guys. What is the circus work modes? Oh, I don't even. Yes. You know what? Let's actually get circus work modes because that probably will enable different things to happen with our circus. All right, we have six years left. We really need to get some more time on the mandate here shortly. So hopefully that'll happen. We I think we can build a high school. That's one of the very important things that we need. Do we have a grocery store? It's a bunk house. It could double as a grocery store. Not really. Uh, okay, let's go with grocery store. Doesn't look like we have one. So I think we're gonna put one near the docks, near the food supplies as well. So we'll shove one there. And then I want to build very much, need to build a high school. Wow, cannot be built yet. Generates knowledge for the research of regime tools. Okay. Newspaper increases liberty nearby. So I wonder if I, I can, I should, I don't know if I should build this. That's the question is like, should I? Is it time? Doesn't appear to need a road connection, which is quite interesting. We may not need to put it there. Ooh, provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists. Rich or better, well off or better. We want to have probably cheap stuff. Residential. 
I think we might need to just add some more bunk houses. So I feel like I can add some next to this farm, maybe. Oh, I forgot to press shift. Okay. Let's put them... Uh, I'm, I need to look up what the decoration buildings look like too because I want to like plan. So we have park size one by one. So these are like tiny... I wish you could zoom in when you uh, were doing stuff like this. So there's a square. Okay, we have another two by three square. Um, two by two, big park, three by three. And then we have these. Man, I kind of miss doing individual trees. Hmm. But anyway, we could even plan to Our have... Our is as yet only marginally glorious. But marginally glorious. Support, <laughs> governor, the people will make it shine. <laughs> we appreciate your help. We will work hard to improve the luster of our disobedience. If the people keep polishing, we will one day be able to see our faces in this rebellion. Yes, I think... Let's have a random blueprint. Let's see what that is going to be. Received a blueprint for a guard tower, really. Mm -hmm. Just what I was wanting, you know? Ah, oh, sigh. Okay, we have in storage uh, sugar, meat, corn, hides. That's good. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get this thing done next. All right, we've got overlays. What else we have? City, crime, safety, electricity. We have no electricity, of course. Liberty is okay. Fun coverage. Wow, we have no fun. Well then. Well, you yeah, did we need... the right thing, which is whatever the crown says it is. Mm -hmm. Cream tea? Cream tea. Let's not get complacent, though, and remember the old saying. Today's governor is tomorrow's plantation sweeper. Ha! Huh, funny to think. I bet your predecessor wishes he could be a plantation sweeper. Yes, let's extend the man mandate time. I don't know how hard other quests will be, but that seems like a really necessary thing to happen here. So, right, we have the grocery store here. I think we need to add fun buildings. So let's go ahead and add some kind of entertainment here. Let's maybe... They must be poor. Do I want to unlock it? Yes. Okay. So you can buy blueprints. Um, I want to build a circus. Absolutely, I want to build a circus. I will put this two away. Nah, I'll just put it right next to the palace. Why not? And I need to remember to build a road. Uh, let me, let's let's add some extra roads here, just so we have abilities to do stuff. Why does that not work? Can I delete this thingy? Okay, we need trade. Oh, wow. Okay, so once you have a trade agreement, then it expires. Okay, five percent above standard. Yeah, we don't have anything above high 5%. Let's just accept this one. And we might even accept this one. How... It doesn't... Oh, it does... Is there a time bonus? Time? No? No? Okay, fine. Um, gold? Nope. I guess we'll just do two sugar. That's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, we had a little bit of a bonus from that. Uh, do we have a bulldozer? That's what I want to find out. Traffic and infrastructure. Landing. Oh, allows citizens and tourists to get in boats. Aha! So that's how we can get to the other area. Oh, there's destroy. Okay, cool. Okay, apparently we have to do this. Let's get this road. Can we please do this? No. Why not? It does not like this area here. We could go... We can't go one tile, apparently. Okay, we'll, we'll try to figure this out. It'll be fine. Um, road? Let's go from here instead, maybe. Go there, and then up here. Okay, that... It likes that better. We, we'll just go Your with that. Your distillery seems to be working. Quick tip, Governor. It's best not to sample your own tipple, if you get my meaning. Hmm? Jolly good. Of course not. 
I certainly make it my business to avoid your island cocktails. Too much coconut, you see. Did I mention I'm allergic to coconut? Just one of the reasons I hate this place. Extend the it's mandate. It's my job to fully exploit these islands, insignificant as they are. Or bananas, giant apes, dinosaurs, whatever has monetary value. <laughs> So I need you to get whatever we've got. If you've got the guts, expand, Governor, expand. Go to all the islands and find me things to sell. Are you listening or are your ears just painted on? So build a team support on each of the three islands. Except, right. This is going to be interesting. Okay, cool. So let's let these things happen. Do we have a lot of corn? We do. We can... We need to get more offers here. Um, processed minerals. If we can find gold. Let's see if we can build a mine and find gold somewhere. Let's see. Industry. A mine. There we go. Mine. For iron. Gold. There is gold. There's gold in them thar hills. Hello, gold. Right. Okay, so we need to mine this area. It looks like we're just going to build a one of those uh, port thingies. Uh, the, what are they called again? The landings. So that we can go from here to here. Um, it's probably the most convenient place. There we go, one. Oopsies. Let's do it again. Landing. Go there. Uh, and I think we decided we wanted coconuts from here. So maybe we should build a landing somewhere along here. Probably here is best. So it's right next to the dock. Construction, landing, maybe here. Not sure if they go faster by boat or by land. Probably by land, I'm guessing. So let's... Um, Oh, we are unpaused. Good, good. Oh, freighter gave us money, money. Hello, stuffs. Uh, does that mean we need to get another? Nope, we already got the sugar thingy. Okay, cool. So this farm is also completed. Do we have enough people? I honestly don't even know if we have enough people. Maybe we should have had extra people. All right, this box. What does that box mean? They were out of stuff, maybe? All right, so these workers are uneducated. Genuine export blend or supply the local market. Ooh, that's tasty. But anyway, um, we were going to look at the efficiency of these guys. So these efficiency is at zero. Efficiency at 96, 69, and 97. We were going to change this to multiculture and see how it affects things. There we go. So it's a deficiency of 40, 76, 49, 77. That's okay. I think it's not terrible. So that is a good thing. So what are you looking for? So you have no sugar in and you have lots of rum out. Can we, are there trade routes yet for meat and coconut? Okay. That's something. Sugar, wool, logs, and coffee. Nothing else here. Oh, yes. Here we go. Right. Let's buy another trade license. Wow. Okay. It's getting up there. Rum. Let's accept this. Good. We could add another sugar plantation as well. Do we have enough workers, though? Workers, eight. They have eight and eight. Okay. So we have plenty of... Well, we don't have that plenty of workers there. Um, let's see if we're going to get these other things made. This is the grocery store. This is the bunkhouse. Okay, they're making the logging camp at the moment. That's a good thing. And this is the fish place, the fisherman's wharf. So I think we're going to need more immigrants if we can handle it. I don't know how to get more immigrants. Usually there's a, a sort of an edict to have people coming in. Okay, they are coming with the freighters. Um, I believe... Now, in previous versions, you could build more docks. Oh, there's more. But for safety reasons, it is a secret request. Uh-huh. 
Only I know what it is. And several dozen loose-lipped freedom fighters. And your spies. In fact, you almost certainly know what we wanted before we did. In which case, please do it and we shall say no more. Um, right. I think we might need more immigrants, so let's accept this. Good. More, yes. Governor. More. Always more. Hop to it. The crown demands. Yes, I know. Oh, don't look at me like that. There's a chap above me who hands the orders down, and I know you have a chap below you, too. It's the pecking order, old chum. Don't make me peck. <laughs> I'm highly amused by this. Let's accept this. Good. Um, next thing. I think we're, we're doing pretty well. Okay, this has been done. We have five of six workers there. Now the grocery's being completed. The circus is getting stuff. Let's build the library next. Uh, da -da -da -da. Luxury entertainment. Media and education. That would be it. So we could build this here. Which way? Oh, that's the front on this side. Yeah, that would be nice. Go by the library on the way to the circus. Uh, so we'll add the road there. Good. Oh, this is looking very nice indeed. I'm very, very pleased with this. Okay. Um, I think we can also add a road here. For our citizens to go along. Okay, we just gotta wait for them to keep on doing stuff. We've got six people in construction. I feel like we need more people in construction. So I'm gonna build another constructor's um, place. Construction office. There we go. Okay, it's too long there. Make this a high priority thing. Rum? How are we doing on rum? Okay, we have a little bit. Definitely could use some more sugar. Here's the corn. We've got sugar going on. Efficiency 77%. That isn't too bad. This is at 40%, though. I'm kind of worried about that. That's quite, quite low. I could build another plantation, though. Let's see if we want to do that. Food, plantation, sugar. This is still a nice place here. Okay, there we are. Let's just move this around so we can see what we're doing. Hmm. We could build a small farm here, but that's definitely not ideal. Hmm. I'm not very happy with this arrangement. This one would probably be better this way, maybe? Yeah, this would be okay here. Okay, I think we're happy with that, and we'll just... Please? <laughs> Please, thing! Do this for me. It'll be fine. Okay. I was I was happy to have a one thing road, but apparently you can't do that for an intersection. Uh-huh. Alright, what do we got now? Two more immigrants. Okay. Keep on going. I would like to start exporting the gold as well. Okay, how's it going with the docks? Should we build another dock? That might actually be quite useful if we have, if we can get the tra the um, the ships to come faster. Here's another dock. We could put a dock here, so we can easily port the gold. That might be a really good idea, and then we'll get more immigrants. Well, I hope the ships would come to each dock in time, but yeah, I don't know. I don't quite know how that works, but we'll see. So rum, we have exported 101 of 300. All right, and we still need these sugar things. We could possibly cancel these if we don't need them because it looks like all the sugar is going toward the rum. Here, empty in stock, yeah. 
I wonder if they're using the rum in any of the places. That, that would be... Let's go ahead and make this high priority. Oh, here's the circus. Apparently I put it backwards. <laughs> whoops. Just slightly whoops. Should have had the marquee here in the front by the road. But that's okay. People will know. It's very unmistakable, this big top here. Okay, work mode. Clowns and popcorn. Beasts and blood. Oh my god. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Huh. Those are slots are decreased by one per employed worker. Fee is increased by $2. Wow. Huh. It looks like lots of people are coming in. That's good. It's really good. Here are our Hola. people. How are you today? Hola. How are you today? We're doing good. We're all doing well. Nice. Looking good. Oh my god, I wish I could play this like forever, but I'm looking at the time and we've already been <laughs> having this episode I must for say, I'm glad oh to be still working with you. Oh, how Finding nice. good help is so difficult these days. <laughs> Between me and you, your little eccentricities make being here a little more bearable. Yesterday, I found a spider the size of my hand, just sitting on the chaise lounge. Blighter probably wanted to pay off. Everyone else does. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a good time to maybe pause the game and finish the episode until the next time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Hop into the fun of Trop Tropico. I can't wait to see how the game develops. Remember, this is the beta. There are still things changeable in Flux. But man, I am loving this so far. So take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.